What is up, everybody? It's Matt Johnson. We are back with another episode of Real Estate Uncensored. This is the place where you get actionable ideas, insight, and inspiration to turn your real estate business into a life of freedom. We've got a great guest here with us today. We've got the, the Gene Volpinator himself is also with us with a tech or social media tip. So we've got a bunch of stuff to dive into. We're going to talk about how to essentially succeed and be happy. So uh, one, one of my favorite uh, book titles of all time written by a mentor, or, or not a mentor, but a, a hero of mine, Peter Daniels down in Australia, is his book, uh, and wrote a book called How to Be Happy Though Rich. Uh, so I, we're, we're going to talk kind of along those along those lines today. We're going to have a lot of fun talking about how to uh, to be more happy as you are on the journey to being more successful. So we'll bring our guest here in a second. But first, my illustrious colleague, the junior grandmaster himself, fresh off of our appearance at the EXP leadership meeting this morning, Greg McDaniel. Greg, what's up today? What up, Johnson? Man, it is a beautiful Friday morning uh, here in Northern California. Uh, you know what? I am pumped. It is. It's a little chilly, but it's really, really nice to be out. And then the EXP, you know, uh, leadership meeting. We were speaking in front of about 350 people. Really, really nice folks there. They want us to actually broadcast this podcast into their network on a, on a weekly basis. So super pumped, super excited, super honored. Um, and it, it just go to go to good crew. Matt, did you know? I didn't know this. I when I was talking to the tech services today up in EXP. Okay. And they showed me a graph. And dude, we thought that their numbers were about 6,500, 6,700, right? They just broke 8,000. Yeah. They started right. the year off at 65. There are 8,000 agents with EXP already. It's insane. Yeah. But um, guys, hey, you guys, we're talking with our guest Hank in regards to about happiness, the book that he wrote, and a lot of all the other good stuff. But you guys, if you want a more a more of a dopamine drip of being happy, go check out my 8:30 a.m. show Pacific Standard Time on my Facebook page, and we do you know me morning motivation with McDaniel. Well, we do something to motivate you, kick you squarely in the taint, to get you get you off going five days a week with something positive in your brain instead of listening to the news. But that's enough of me talking, and yes. uh, let's move forward to something more productive. Like Gene, let's move, let's talk to Gene. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "That's enough of me talking." Matt said, "Yes." <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize we were going to get the taint in there today. That's amazing for a Friday, and the first thing I need at eight thirty in the morning. I know that <laughs> a, a swift taint kicking. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> What's up, boys? It's always good to see you, dude. You always good to well. be seen. Always good uh, to be seen. <laughs> All right, and then let's bring in our special guest, Dr. Hank Seitz. Dr. Hank, how are you today? Hey, I'm doing fantastic. What's going on? Sounds like a lot of good stuff, a lot of growth, huh? Oh, yes. yeah. Absolutely. A lot of growth fantastic. is always fun. All right, so yeah. uh, so Dr. Hank, for those that don't know you, uh, give us a little a little bio here. We'll dive into more of your background later, but just kind of let people know where you're at, where you're at what you primarily do, and why they call you Dr. Hank. Sure, you bet. Yeah, the Dr. Hank really is more my stage name, and uh, I, my PhD is in mental science. I'm a mental scientist under the behavioral sciences, and uh, but probably foremost, I'm a businessman. So my undergraduate is in business, my master's in human behavior, and then my PhD in, in uh, mental science. So they call me Dr. Hank. I managed a uh, billion-dollar business for Procter & Gamble for 15 years, and about half the time they had me in training and development, some of the best mm. training and development development world and the other half I was managing this business and the pat or some of our patents started running out and so I used all my education and then all my business experience to create a very unique um, process training process that I call top performers and so it was a great success with Procter and Gamble and increased their revenues by 23 percent decreased their costs by 34 percent and um, and so Proctor came to me and said, hey, we want you to do this, you know, internationally. And I said, nope, I'm going. So I started a consulting <laughs> business about 20 years ago and with uh, IBM and Chase and some major uh, companies throughout the world. And so I became a speaker and had my own consulting company. And then I got into the real estate industry. So about 20 years ago, I owned a mortgage company. Then about 10 years ago, I bought into a real estate company and uh, that had about 150 agents, grew them in Texas, grew them to about 400 agents, a little over 400 agents in all major markets in Texas. And uh, basically what I do now is I have a company called Agent Wealth Network, and I help agents and brokers to increase their business and to increase their wealth. So that's pretty much where I'm at, and we do four pillars there of um, education, uh, leads programs, mindset training, 
as well as wealth building. And primarily the wealth is in real estate, but I also mm -hmm. am in some other areas uh, uh, to build wealth, such as cryptocurrency. Oh, wow. Goodness. We haven't talked about that yeah. yet. Okay. So, um, <laughs> so on this particular episode, because I know we'll bring you back and then uh, you're launching your own podcast, Agent Wealth Network Live here in the coming uh, month. Right. So uh, people are going to see more and more of you. But I think on this episode, we're going to dive in specifically to the mindset uh, piece of things. And so it's important right. for people to understand kind of your background and the mental sciences and mental behavior, which is awesome. So we've got a lot of stuff that I know we're going to dive into. So tell yeah. people just briefly about the, the title and the idea of the latest book you just wrote. Uh, so let's see. I actually have uh, so the, the latest book. I'm on my tenth book, and oh. my uh, most recent is uh, uplifting a daily upliftment, and it was just published like two weeks ago. But also, I'm excited to share with everybody that I have another book called Good Feeling Thoughts. And it's seven thoughts that you read every day to uplift you in different day, dates of every day of the year. Mm -hmm. And um, it's for the first time I have it in Spanish. Wow. And so now we finally, Greg, you can have... read it. <laughs> Hola, <laughs> si, senor. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. That hurt. See, that, and, we uh, thought it was dyslexia the, this whole time. It's actually Greg only reads in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, we were just in the wrong language. It's no problem, no That's biggie. Right. That, uh, but but one of my best sellers, and I'm award winner last year in Hollywood. I was uh, given the Quilly Award for uh, Writers Association of top selling book and and uh, uplifting book, and it's called The Happiest Man in the World. And so I just love that one because it really helps people to know that, you know, we've all been in the valley, if you will, and we've all had challenges, whether it's with money or relationships or health. And uh, so this book really helps people to know that it is with our mind that we create 99 percent of everything is, that we create is first with our mind, 1 percent inspired action. And so most of us are always do, do, do. And when you do, 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 you end up getting do, do. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna make that joke. Damn it! <laughs> and so, uh, so I help people to um, really focus on what you want and why you want it, and then, as like the Bible says, the Father does the work. Then you have the universe, God, source energy, whatever term you want to use, does the work. So we just need to figure out the what and the why. And the who, when, and where then is done by the universe, by God, if you will, uh, to bring you all those things. So you have to ask and then receive. And this mm -hmm. asking is the critical. Most of the time, see, most of us think that we're asking when we're on our hands and knees and our hands folded. And the mm -hmm. fact is, our asking is very good, Greg. I, you know, you're getting, you're getting oh, that. And, I uh, preach this stuff all the time. I, the, you're, you are speaking my language. I'm like, bring it to me. Bring it to yeah, me. It's like baby. we're separated yeah. at birth by many years, but we were separated at birth. <laughs> yeah, so so our asking is uh, every day what our thoughts are, and mm -hmm. we actually have been trained to uh, go tackle stuff and go approach the problem. And so whatever you focus your attention on grows. And so as you start focusing your attention on, oh, the bad deal or, you know, the transaction went south, the more you focus on that, Cooperative components, and I would have all of us write down these words, cooperative components come rallying around whatever we're thinking about. So that's why for us to say, like people will tell you, face reality, and I say there's no way in heck I'm going to face reality. I actually use a different word. That, uh, <laughs> that, that what I do instead is I create reality. And so instead of looking at what is, I start looking at what will be. And as I start thinking about the way that I want it, the way God will give it to me, and I'll be able to receive it. Hmm. You know, it's something that I fully, completely believe in. There's so many times that a lot of a lot of us, we're trained to focus on the negativity in life. Look at the news. Look at marketing. Look at publishing. It's death, right. rape, destruction, the market, you know, everything else is yeah. Horrible because, hey, guys, it's it's everybody give a hug day. That's not going to sell anything. It's like, oh, okay, so give a hug day. It's not going to do anything. But it's the funny <laughs> thing that the way you see things color everything else in your day. So if you wake up, stub your toe, and you're a pissed off mood for the rest of the day, every, the rest of the day has got a dark cloud around it. When all, You could right. change the way you view by going, oh, I stubbed my toe. That's a good, that's yeah. a good thing. Now I know where that corner is. I'm not going to do that again. Right. It's a good thing. Yeah. But Very it, we're, good. We're, so. And, and let me give you this perspective then, that before we came here, if you will, came down here again, that we kind of went to God and we said, uh, yeah. so um, 
uh, when we get down here, how do we communicate together? You know, is it going to be English or is it going to be Spanish or what? And God says, no, 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 we have this perfect communication, and this communication is through your feelings. So every time you feel bad, that means you're not thinking about this the way that God is thinking about this. Every time you feel good, that you are thinking about what you want. So this world, we came in here and we couldn't wait to get back because it has perfect contrast. Everything we want and everything we don't want. So when Greg was bringing up on, hey, the bad news and everything, yeah, and the stub foot, that those are, I mean, the, the news channels, they, they literally search the world for some bad stuff, okay? There's actually way more wonderful things that are going on. So we have a choice because there's all this contrast, everything we want, everything we don't want. And so it's for us to start determining what do I want. And when we do brush up against that contrast, like the stub foot, we just go, that's what I don't want. And then we ask do I want? And then you'll start getting answers. Hey, I want to be, um, I want to feel good. Okay. I want my day to go better. So actually the contrast is a blessing. So everything that we've had, a divorce, bad health, you know, bankruptcy, whatever that is, that all those things actually are blessings to us because they birth what we do want and it makes a better life for us. And we expand all that is in our thought and our feeling and God, if you will, is happy. You know, it, 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 we're going to keep you, by the way, because um, <laughs> just 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 staying there. It's not a request. We're we're keeping you. Um, I, it, you. The way that you the way that you think is so 180 to what everyone else does that I yeah. love how refreshing that it is because it, it, there's there's hope and there's light involved with you because right. everyone goes like I had a conversation with an individual the other day and they were all bummed out that they weren't getting the results that they wanted from their prospecting and I and not so eloquently as you have put it but I basically told them look man you know you got to start focusing on the on the on the possible the possible things and the good things here what so you've been yeah. prospecting for a little while and you haven't gotten your results well you're not in a war zone you're not being shot at and no one's trying to chop your head off and you know take a dump down your neck. I mean, there. This is a good thing. You have a cushy job. You have a, you know, an opportunity to make a ton of money. I mean, if you're in the financial straits, instead of saying, "Gosh, dang it, I'm broke. What the fuck is going on with my life?" Just turn around right. and say, "You know what? Today, this is an opportunity for wealth building. If you have right. a bad day, you know what? This is an opportunity to learn what I'm thankful for." But yeah. people just want to can bitch and complain because it's the easiest thing to do, but they're poisoning their own well when they do it. It's like taking a clean glass of water and a muddy glass of water, dumping the muddy right. water into the clean water going, why is this water muddy? Well, it's because right. you put mud in it. That's why. <laughs> yeah, and and you see, it's so remarkable because if we didn't have this contrast, the things we don't want, most people say good or bad, but really it's just what we want and what we don't want. And so when we, if we didn't have that contrast, we would not know what we do want. You have to have that to birth it. So, you know, I love the, the the idea of, like, for example, the divorce. When it first happens and you feel terrible and everything and, you know, it's just the worst thing. And, and then you realize that, oh, my God, I found the love of my life now because the first one was what oh, I didn't God. want. <laughs> and then the second one, I got clarity of what I do want. But you have to do this asking and say, now this first what? What does this help me want? Because if you don't ask that, you'll get the second wife just like the first wife or husband or whatever the case may be. Because wherever you go, you bring yourself with you. So I have people say, hey, I'm going to go move to Cleveland and get away from that. Well, good luck. Except you're dragging yourself <laughs> with you. <laughs> you're putting them in each pocket and Wherever bringing them with you. you. Attract, there you are. Yeah, you you'll attract the you. same stuff. You know, yeah, the, thing, the, the thing about this, Hank, is that people get – they don't believe that they can or are worthy of getting what they truly want. And that's what truly stops people because, like, yeah. the other day I was doing I was doing some prospecting calls and everything else. And I started thinking I, – I have a one-bedroom condo. I love my little place. It, it, it's a, it's a, just a good little place for me right now. But I started – I was looking at something on Facebook, and I was getting butthurt about something. I'm like, well, damn it, I want a big house. You know, something like this. So I started, I went on there now because I've never been clear about it when I wanted. And I went on and I allowed myself to be clear about what I was asking for. So I resonated yeah. with the fact that I love where I am now, but this isn't where, I'm, yeah. where I want to stay. And then I allowed right. myself to truly search and truly go out and look what I wanted for. So I just went and played on Zillow and I found this house up in Marin County, right on the water. Now it's $17 million, but yeah. 
you know, this yeah. is exactly what I want. And I didn't allow myself to right. look at the price tag. I allowed to myself to look at the, and have the positive feeling of what I wanted to achieve. And it took myself right. to a whole nother plane of feeling right. good. The money went away, but I gave myself right. permission to ask for what I truly wanted. Yeah, yeah. And see, this is so powerful what you say there, because for people to realize that that to have those dreams, see, most dream machines have been broken for people. And the reason why is they had a dream and then it didn't go right. And so they just say, you know what, I feel bad when I have this dream because I can't get it. For you to look at that dream and just have faith, and this is where truly faith is, you know, have faith in God, trust in God. This is where it is, that there is a way and we don't have any clue. You have no clue on how to get $17 million per se. OK, that but if you just keep on thinking about that and you have the trust and faith that is one step at a time and that everything, if you have the power to think it, God has the power to deliver it into your experience at the perfect time in the perfect portion. God, I love you. Keep me. <laughs> OK, so I have this dream book that I carry around with cool. myself. And Love I have, it. I mean, I've identified and really gone down on a lot of things in my life and, you know, relationships and the girls I want to date and everything else, yeah. the cars I want to own. You know, I own both of my dream cars right now. I had them on my awesome. wall for four years, literally down to the rotor <laughs> colors. I have my dream cars. It's unbelievable. <laughs> and the thing is, is that like you said, you want things that they will show up in a proportion when you're ready to receive that future. Cause you, if you're a right. douchebag, 21 year old, no disrespect <laughs> to all the 21 year olds, douchebag, 21 year old. Old, you know, and goes, I want a million dollars. Dude, homie, if we give you a million dollars, you'd probably fucking kill yourself with overdoses or fast cars or stupid <laughs> right. decisions or drinking or something bad. Like right? football players. <laughs> like football players. Golly, those numb nuts. So this is what I put down. Now, check this out, Hank. You're going to – this freaked me out the other day. I have written down in my in my shower every day. I have written in my mind and seen it written on the wall. It says, I, Greg McDaniel, star and produce and own the number one real estate podcast, residential podcast in the marketplace, viewed by tens of millions of people on a monthly basis, helping them live and achieve the dreams of their lives. My annual income is $50 million. Now, here's the catch. With the numbers that Matt and I are putting up there for reaching the 25,000 agents on our team, at right. you know six deals per year at two hundred fifty five two hundred seventy five thousand dollars per deal at a two and a half percent you know you know per, percentage to the agent, yeah the net to Matt and I will give me exactly that number, yeah. and I never even came up with it but I, and now I have That's a plan right. to achieve it. That's right. what we're moving forward towards, and it's yeah. a, and I wrote this three years ago. Right, right. And that's why it's just this. See, you can never have a happy ending without a happy journey. And that's why you <laughs> want to just embrace this right now on loving on where you are. And that just for you to have the idea and for the numbers to miraculously come to you that everything works out perfectly, that you just go, this is so fun. Because it really isn't about the manifestation, even though most of us think, you know, oh, it is. But once you get your first million dollars, you're looking for your next million dollars. Oh, yeah. Right? Or 50 million or whatever that, you know, case right. is. And so for us to just enjoy this journey, because really all we need to do, just well being flows to us. In other words, only good wanted flows to us as long as we allow it in. And when we allow it in, all we really need to do is feel good. Mm -hmm. And so people have a hard time understanding that because they go, what do you mean? Just feel good. But literally, if you just feel good and just happy, you know, I did a, I do an encouragement every week, encouragement from Dr. Hank, and um, one of them a few weeks ago was happy for no reason. And when you can get to the point to be just happy for no reason, that you're there, and you become then the happiest man in the world. <laughs> I, I was talking with a guy that I was doing some coaching with, and you know who you are because you're watching right now because I know you're watching. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to say any names, but I see you. <laughs> um, but I was talking with this individual and I said, are you doing your, are you reviewing your goals? You're reviewing this, you know, on the daily, hourly, weekly basis. And he's like, well, yeah. kind of, I'm like, hold up. What do you mean? Kind of. He's like, well, I just, I'm like, wait a minute. You view, you view this as a job, don't you? And he's like, 
Yeah, I do. I'm like, well, it's never going to fucking come to you because you're you're making it a right. chore. You have right. got to put positive energy into it. Be so excited, like you're like a little kid on Christmas. You get up and you're just like, Woo-hoo-hoo! I get to review yeah. my goals. I get I get to live in this alternate reality. You know, I get yeah. to have fun with this stuff. I mean, and, and yeah. you can you can be, the universe is literally your personal Amazon. You can order. Yeah anything that you want because if you give your brain a ten dollar problem it'll give you a ten dollar solution you give it a billion dollar yep. problem it'll give you a billion dollar solution yeah but we're, the we're concierge in the dream. sky yes the concierge, the concierge in the sky, in the sky. <laughs> but, but we never allow ourselves to dream right we we right. hold ourselves back because what's realistic what's safe right. we stay in our we stay in our safe zone we never get into our right. stretch zone or 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 or, 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 or you know beyond our, our safety zones. We never get out of it. Right, right. I mean, we and so we're too far I, I love all that, and and you know, and it's it's this idea. That's why I don't even use the word goals because people just kind of yes. you know they just go like I don't want that. So the dreams they are, and then also I love the word desire. What do you desire? You know, and so this is what I desire. This is what I want. And it's not like, oh, I want this and we're begging to some God up there in a place called heaven. This is on, you know, this is what I want. I'm this co-creator. I can literally mold the energy of the universe with my thoughts. And so I'm going to mold the universe on here's what I want. And this concierge in the sky will deliver it all. It doesn't matter if it's a thimble or a castle. It can all be done. Same amount of energy. No big sweat for the universe to do it. It's just for us to flow in and just imagine and see yourself this way. And as you do, your dreams will come true. And then you'll be on this magic carpet ride for the rest of your all of eternity. (laughs) It is it is so true. Um, And you know what? I'm going to put pause on this thought real quick because I know Gene probably has some stuff he wants to do, but he always comes in with some just rock star (laughs) solid content on tech and uh Gene, I, I know I, I want you to stay as long as you can, but uh, I want you to get your piece out. And so if you have to go, you, you, you can, but I want you to stay if you can, too. So, yeah, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scoot out of here after after a couple minutes. i got to get out of here about 20 of or so. This is, uh, this is interesting stuff. So I, I actually would rather ask the good doctor a question, if I may, as opposed Ooh, to a tech sure. tip. We can get the tech tip today is easy, so we can get to it still if you want. Yeah, go for but, it, man. What do you listen, I, I, I did a lot of this stuff back in the day, and I, I'm going to be a naysayer, Doc. Are you ready for this? Sure. Yep. And, and, I don't, and I believe me, I subscribe to everything you say. Yeah. Um, f- to 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 some level, right? I'm less. Yeah. I'm less of a God fearing guy than you are. I can I can sense that already. Um, uh-huh. And you know you can hate me for that. That's fine. But it is what it is. <laughs> um, but I do believe in in the energy of the universe and all that good stuff. And here's we used to t- to talk in some of our in, in some of our things about the secret, and you know yep. people would say that's hocus pocus. Right. That's right. the first thing you always hear. Oh, that little, you know, that stuff that you're doing, you're chanting to yourself and you, you look like a weirdo. <laughs> right. So my question to you would be when you do a lot of this stuff, especially in a space with like real estate agents and brokers. Yeah. The minute the minute you come out of the gate with God and has a plan and just give it to the universe. I mean, you come out of the gate with that stuff. You turn 70 percent of your audience off like that. Right. Like and that's just my guess. So yeah. how do you. Because what we used to do is we used to say, like, the secret is not about you sitting on your couch and wishing for things and then things show up in your mailbox. Mm-mm. It's about yeah. you thinking about a plan, devising it, giving that plan to the universe, and then actually working your ass off to hit the goals to that plan. I know you don't like to use the word goals, but the, well, however right. you call them. Whatever. And then those yeah. things that you give to the universe come to you. So when people say hocus pocus, this doesn't yeah. work, what's your comeback yeah. to that stuff? Yeah, you bet. And and it's a great question. And, and so, you know, whatever the 70 percent was, really my teaching. And so I have a teaching that works and has worked with uh, played out for thousands of people. I've helped people to have million dollar real estate businesses. I've had helped people overcome cancer. I mean, all kinds of things. So really, it's not so much my teaching, though, but the best way that I can teach is through my actions. So when people see me, so just my energy on that, hey, I am a happy guy, okay? So as I'm talking about, like, if I use the word God or universe or whatever, that people will typically accept that because they feel my vibration. We're actually vibrational beings. And so we feel that even if we're not conscious of it. And so you know that I have a good intent here. I'm not trying to tell you, like, like one of the things people say about me is, hey, you don't have to bring your checkbook with Dr. Hank. 
And so you don't have to bring your checkbook. And that what I love to do is uplift the, pe- the world and uh, teach them this teaching. So whatever words you want to use, universe, you know, energy, God, whatever, uh, that, you know, just retranslate it. But I don't have 70% of my audience say, oh, he brought up God. I have 100% of my audience saying, hey, this is fun. And so the more we can have fun, the more we can feel good, lighten up, not take things so serious that, you know, all these things will, will come to you. And like you were going, you know, this work, 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 work. Again, the more that people can understand, 99% of the, the things that we need to do is really just our focus of thought. And then we just need, then it can be an easy road. But we have beliefs that we've seen our parents or we see on Sports Center, oh, I worked hard, I worked hard. And so we hear all this stuff and we say, well, they worked hard and they got successful, so thus I have to work hard. But the fact is, we really are here for a joy ride and to enjoy ourselves and so we can all lighten up and as we do and as we feel better it all come to us so all of science within the last five years has proven on how all of creation is is created and for us so in our words that would be how do you get your dreams to come true and here's what the scientists say that there's three steps the first step is your thought and so it is your all-powerful thought of whatever you're thinking about and as you think about what and when on your thought that that thought then turns into energy and again, this is all, you know, neuroscience, uh, biological people, all the scientists have now agreed in the last five years is how it is. Thought creates what they call energy, our emotion. So when you have good feeling emotion, in essence, what it is, it's like a signal sending out to the universe saying, this is what I want. And then these cooperative components come rallying around and the cooperative components come to you and it comes to you in thought. In energy of thoughts, people, circumstances, and events that brings you your dreams come true. So I mainly just need about five weeks, one hour per week with people in my top performers with Dr. Hank to be able to help people prove to themselves that this actually plays out, that I can sink myself into everything that I want as I feel good and I have these good feeling thoughts. So yeah. three steps, stuff. thought creates emotion energy and that energy is creates what the scientists say matter m-a-t-t-e-r for us it's our experience mm. yeah. you know yeah, i love the, the process that was great yeah and mm-hmm. and just to jump in here real quick since i haven't said anything in about 29 minutes um <laughs> you really have it's rare man <laughs> again you know, this is like two podcasts in a row i did a podcast the other day with jeff Cohn and rock thomas i literally didn't talk <laughs> For 29 minutes in the middle, uh, and I just I introed, and then I like I got a question at the end. All right, so uh, I will I will jump in here, and I'll give my perspective, Gene, on what you mentioned, which is that I think there is a segment of the audience that will listen to what Dr. Hank says, and energetically they don't they don't resonate with the terminology and the delivery, uh, and I don't care about that. Um, I will say this that uh, that a lot of these principles go they're they are universal human principles, and they've like you said, Dr. Hank, they've been proven out. Um, but yep. this goes all the way back. You can, you can one milestone that I like to bring up is the book Psycho Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz, which, right. by the way, uh, there is there is an interesting passage in the updated version, which was written with Dan Kennedy, I think, in the 90s. And oh, yeah. Maxwell pointed out that since the book had come out in the 60s, he's had 30 years of conversations about the book with people of every religious and non-religious belief system. And yeah. he's never found a point of real disagreement. And really, it's more of a matter of terminology and stylistic approach, right? Because these are <coughs> universal human principles. So um, yeah. I think there's a lot of people that might not resonate with um, with certain aspects of it. Um, but I will say this. like, I, if, if you had said something like this to me 10 years ago before I had read some of the books and just gone through some of the experiences that I've gone through in the last few years – I would have reacted negatively. I would have said, there's no way that's true. This is all wishful thinking or whatever. It was because I think there's, there's, there's two elements there. There's, there's this big idea, right? There's the big promise that this is an approach that can help. I think right. what's missing for a lot of people, and especially if it was for people like me, which is that there is an underlying mechanism of how it works, which explains the promise. Right. So I think what people are missing when it comes to stuff like the pledge 
is it's this big promise, like positive thinking, like change, changing your thoughts can change your life. And that's true, but there's a few other steps in between, mm-hmm. right? There's a mechanism to how this stuff works, which is that, and that's where psycho-cybernetics, it fills in those gaps and it provides the understanding of the mechanism of how these changes come about, which is, you know, the idea of, your, your unconscious being the steersman, right? It goes towards and it directs you towards the goals of the pictures that you dwell on in your own mind, which, so it kind of fills in those gaps, I feel like. So guys, if you're, if you're interested, go grab that book, Psycho-Cybernetics, it's amazing. Because uh, for anyone that's skeptical and doesn't resonate with it stylistically or doesn't like the terminology, go read that book because that will fill in, I feel like one of the biggest gaps um, and allow you to kind of approach it from I would say a very, what would you say, Dr. Hank, very practical, very pragmatic point of view. Right. Yes. Yeah. And uh, another one is uh, Think and Grow Rich mm-hmm. and yeah. uh, with Napoleon Hill. <coughs> and he wrote that in the 1930s. I actually co-authored then a book with him because it was a public domain then. Mm-hmm. And they had taken out, um, it's called Think, Feel, and Grow Rich. And they took out 37 times the word vibration out of his original no script. Kidding. Whoa, because it seriously? Was, yeah. Yeah, because it was wow. way too much uh, for people to handle. He already was you know, way out there with this type of thinking. Yeah. And, um, and, and the key is, is that if you look around, you see the people that are successful, that this is you know, what they do. And, it, 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 uh, and so you can look at others and be able to see that. But I actually use um, – that's how I shared with you how the scientists break it down. Let me give you the five steps on how I break it down very briefly. Okay. So ask and receive. So that's step one and step step five. Okay, ask. And so this asking, you have to ask for at least a minute, at least four thoughts about whatever you're talking about to start building that energy. Okay. Step two is that energy automatically goes into your emotions and it creates the, this energy through your emotions. Step three, that energy signals out to the universe and the universe God, if you will, receives it and immediately responds. So everything that we have asked for is in energy form, but we have to do step four. And step four is to what I call ABIT, and it's allow, believe, and expect. You have to allow it in, believe that it's coming, and expect. So this all-powerful, if anything, for all of us to just leave here today to start expecting a little bit better every day, a little bit more every day of what we want. And as we do, we'll start seeing that within a week, within a month, by next year, that we will, in fact, be in a better place than we were Mm -hmm. because we started to expect what we wanted. Yeah, you started seeing things come come into your universe. There was a book. So, Gene, you were talking about the secret, right? And I and I, it was a great place to jump off with that, but it left holes. And one of the biggest holes for me that it left was the fact that okay, so I want I, I want to put it out there that I can I can I can get like whatever I want in the universe. But then what what do I do with this negative feeling that's sitting on my chest, like this that sinking feeling, like I want to I'm gonna be a billionaire, I'm gonna be a millionaire, I'm gonna do whatever, and then I get that like the oh fuck no you're not McDaniel, you are a high school barely get out college dropout, you know you're you're never gonna achieve anything feeling. What I found in this book called uh, Follow Your Passion, Find Your Power, guys, I put it in the link here. Um, follow your passion, find your power. I listened to this book for 13 months straight. I literally didn't listen to anything else, and I always got something new out of it. And what I found with that is I was I was taught how to write my goals correctly with the correct verbiage in the in the present tense, not the future tense. Wow. Use uh, the Sedona method would allow me to release right on the spot, and I was introduced into EFT tapping. And I do EFT tapping every morning uh, with Brad right. Yates on YouTube. Uh, it, 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 is in, it, is in, it is unbelievably how powerful this stuff is. And I think it goes right back to what we're talking about was the three things. You know, the four things. Ask with energy. The ocean into it. Because I would, I would ask for like a good day or amazing day or whatever my tap is on that day. Then I would put the emotion towards it. Then I would, you know, the, would, that would go, the signals would go up because I'm feeling good and I like it, so my, yep. my subconscious wants it. And then right. I would allow, believe, and expect to see it, and then amazing things just transform in front of me. The first time I did this, I did EFT tapping. I thought it was, 
I thought I should have locked myself up in a padded room. I felt so dumb. And I did. I, I went to my bathroom, and I have two, you know, two doors in there. And I went to where the the sink is, and I so closed the doors. Nobody could see me. I talked about you know getting more money, or getting more business. And I I ta- did my tapping, came out of it, and I was just like, I don't feel any different. Uh, what the hell is supposed to go on here? No clue. I thought like like this rapturous feeling, like there's gonna be a light from heaven and all this other stuff. So I go into my office. And I, uh, I'm sitting there, and my phone rings, and it's one of my, my, my friends. I hadn't talked to her in like a couple of years. Her name was Kim. Calls me up out of the blue. She, she and I do not talk. She's like, "Hey, Greg, it's Kim. How's life?" Blah blah blah. Small talk. She's like, "Hey, um, my boyfriend, my fiance, and I uh, were wondering. We want to sell my my house now that we have and get a bigger one because I'm pregnant. And could you help me with that?" Um, yes, Kim, I can. Uh, I yes, I Kim, I can. And I thought that it was either the world's largest coincidence or there's something to this. And yeah. so I've dedicated the last two years that every morning, Monday through Friday, I am doing an EF, one to three EFT tappings on whatever's messing with me. I, I can't tell you how fantastic my days have been and how positive I have been with this stuff. Now, is it all voodoo and wish wash and hoopla and you know, smoke and mirrors? No. There is energy behind this stuff. And like Dr. Hank was talking about, it is proven fact. This is not just, you know, a bunch of hippies sitting around passing the peace pipe. I mean, this is legitimate science. So wait, can, and I, I, and I, can, I, can I piggyback there? On the, on the peace pipe or what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a I rough it. cough, so I can't do that. But no, well, you, you said going back to the secret, leaving, leaving these holes, right? And mm-hmm. I think that's a good point. And I think, I think I admire the secret so much because how simple it was in its delivery, mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. fact that they kept it widespread so it gave me the opportunity to connect with one or two of the people that talked and because i think that's an important element if i see one person and i don't like that person i don't believe the scenario right in the theory mm, right. so i found say michael beckwith and i liked it and i thought okay this guy's giving me feed me stuff i like right what 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 that book did for me was made me acutely aware of how my attitude in dealing with something affected everything down the line yeah. and once i realized that that be, then I became more of a student of the things you're talking about. So that to me was yeah. a great stepping stone. And real quick before I go, I, doctor, this was wonderful. I can't wait to rewatch this. But just to prove that, that that stuff works, I love music and I also build websites. And I just got, I, I don't know if you see that, I just got a web request from a Bob Dylan. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's that Bob go Dylan, but right? Finally. I don't know. <laughs> You, oh get to, you get to build a website for a for a Nobel Prize winner. It's just what you've always wanted. Just what I always oh. wanted. It's, so Gene, it's seriously, all man. coming to you, baby. Yeah, it's man. all coming to you, Gene. Gene go, Gene, go read the book, Follow Your Passion, Find Your Power. Seriously, man, that is the book that changed my life. And I know that the doc's got a book. I mean, I, Doc, I want to talk a little bit about your book, too. Um, sure. The Happiest Man Alive. Break that down for us because is, please tell me it's on Audible. Please, please, please. Is it on that, Audible? Uh, are you Audible? Yeah, what, is it on that? Audible? Is it on Audible.com? Uh, audio. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it isn't. Yeah, yeah, no, it isn't. I know, I know. Um, <laughs> so the happiest man in the world, that basically it just takes you through some of the challenges that I've had in my life and how I've been in the valley. And, um, I mean, I was 17 years old and had a girl pregnant. She decided to have an abortion. I had no money and I had barely gotten out of high school and so going to the army and end up being in a, a, a Korea, in a mountaintop up on Korea and ready to shoot myself and literally and so I've been well I ended up from there taking down the Korean uh, the uh, Korean mafia and was awarded by the army the army commendation medal and all kinds of stuff but I've had my challenges and from being brought up with very abusive father and, and brothers that tortured me. And so, but the whole point of the book is we all have been in valleys and it's how to get out of that valley and get to the mountaintop and now how to stay on that mountaintop. And in fact, we can all be happy every day. We have the power to do that. And one of the concepts to kind of leave everybody with is just to start asking for a miracle today. 
And if you ask for a miracle, but you have to ask. If you don't ask, you're never going to get it. So you got to ask for that $17 million house. you got to ask for miracles. And miracles of what? Things that you want. So I want miracles, more business coming to me, more opportunity. I want to smile more today. I want to laugh more today. And as we just start using these simple ideas, and you start asking for more of what you want. I want to laugh more today, just like we laughed on this great show today, that the more that we can do that, the more that it, you'll see that your life will just get better and better because you'll attract cooperative components of a happier and a more prosperous and abundant life. Yeah. It, changing the way that you feel, changing the way that you see things, you know, it's it's one of those things like I do a lot of, Doc, you don't know anything about, about me, but I do this prospecting, you know, call show at 4.30 on the week, uh, uh, 4.30 on weekdays, and awesome. when, I get, when I get to go fuck yourselves, I, 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 and most people cringe, and I'm like, thank you, sir, you've just made my day. <laughs> you know, I just change the way to look at it because I'm always looking for the biggest you know, biggest rebuffment I can possibly get because that means I'm doing something positive. And if you're not getting, you know, if you're not hitting up wall, hitting walls every once in a while, you're not trying hard enough. If you don't have yeah. haters, you're not trying to do anything different. You're just doing the yeah. norm. So sure. again, change the way how. If someone says no, they don't want to work with you. Okay, cool, man. It's not the right time for you. Move on to the next person. Right. It's just right. those small shifts that make such yeah. a massive difference. And so another little hint maybe that could, could help with this, Greg, is to, to know that every subject has wanted or the unwanted. Down to any particle in the universe has the wanted or the unwanted. And when you start looking for the wanted in everything, you'll start seeing blessings in everything. Mm -hmm. Even the person that says, hey, I don't want it, that if you take a look at that and realize, hey, that's good because that helps me to build that energy of I want – harmonious people, kind people, people that listen to me. You just get clear and clear on what you want, and you build that energy in order to have truly all of your dreams come true. Yeah, that's so, so, so powerful. I mean, Gene, did this clear some stuff up for you in regards to um, kind of what, 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 what you were thinking? In regards to you know the, the whole energy and God and everything else like that? Oh, yeah. Listen, I love the fact that you can easily replace – you know, I can take doctors' words out that I don't like and replace them with what I like. I mean, you know, right. I, I think about the uh, one of my favorite movies. I love Lamp. If mine's looking <laughs> at the lamp and giving it, giving that, giving that love, I, I give it to the lamp and he gives it back to me. Fine. Yeah, but that's whatever works. Well, you I didn't know, know you're such. I, I didn't know you're such a scholar. <laughs> I, love, I love rug. I love rug. All right, listen, boys. I'm gonna jump while I got the second. Here's the one I was gonna tell everybody. Google Trends, check it out. So it's trends.google.com. So for the people waiting for that tip, take a look at it, see what you extrapolate from it, and uh, and go from there. Doctor, it was uh, very, very interesting to say the least. Enjoy the boys. Gene, hey, thanks Later, so brother. much. Appreciate you, man. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah. Later, Gene. And, uh, Google Trends is great for uh, news jacking. Uh, mm. So if you're looking for interesting ways to find content that you can talk about on either posts or Facebook Lives to share with your tribe, social network, whatever the case is, uh, yeah, Google Trends is a great way to kind of keep in touch with what other people are talking about and then go research it, see if you have like an interesting take or an opinion, perspective on it, and then give your perspective on it either in a post or on a, on a live video. Uh, so that's where I think Google Trends can really be kind of leveraged and maximized. If you are the type of agent that has a really good, like, well-followed blog, um, like, there's a couple of guys that come to mind. Um, Franklin Jones is one of them out in South Carolina. Uh, he's really good at that, like, and, and not just nationally, but looking at what's going on in his community, uh, blogging about it, jumping on the back of news that's already going on that people are talking about, writing about it, and getting it out there on social media, and then giving his perspective on it so that people have something to, to, to tie back to him. Uh, and it kind of gives his blogs a little bit more staying power and sharing power because he's, he's jumping on top of things that people are actually all, already interested in. So I just wanted to point that out. All right. Um, so for Gene, it's genevolpe.com, I believe oh, is the... Oh, uh, dude. <laughs> sing that better. All right, That was Gene. lame. <laughs> dot com. Yes, yes. There we go. Hit all those right. high notes. Yeah. Genevolpe.com. Uh, you can always uh, learn more about what Gene does to help agents and small business owners get more exposure online. 
And awesome. Dr. Hank, um, let's start winding this down. I know there's a couple of things we'll probably cover towards the end, but let people know the best place to connect with you, uh, get into your email list, learn about the books, all yeah. that good stuff. Yeah, sure. So if they want to email me, it's drhank at drhank.biz. So Dr. Hank at Dr. Hank B I Z. And uh, then I'm on Facebook under Hank and then Sites, S E I T Z. And I send out encouragements every week. I have uh, a webinar every week on how to uh, build your wealth and uh, build your business. And then I also have uh, Top Performers with Dr. Hank. And um, for those listeners out there that are interested in hearing on what I'm saying, it's Top Performers with Dr. Hank and it's mindset training for the heart and soul and so if you resonated with what I had shared with you that I actually provide that normally uh, it costs nine hundred ninety seven dollars and it's free to your listeners to uh, mm. be able to have that so if they just contact me and my number is two one four seven five three seventy two oh four if they want to call me happy to Very talk cool. to anybody about anything I'm here to serve up <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll throw this out there. Uh, so on agentwealthnetwork.com, uh, there's a link yeah. to the webinar that you mentioned. So if anybody wants to jump on that, very, very easy to get to the link, learn a little bit more about it, register if they would like. So that's on agentwealthnetwork.com. Uh, that's also where they can keep up with the podcast when that launches. And you're going to be interviewing uh, some some good friends of ours, including Aaron Wittenstein, who, uh, who runs the second largest Facebook group in all of residential real estate. So you're going to be having him on the show in April, among some other really great guests. Uh, and you That's guys can awesome. keep up with that on that same website. So exciting. Yeah. So let's uh, let's bring it down to, I guess, some some very practical uh, next steps, Dr. Hank. Um, so let's say somebody wants to take the first steps towards um not just dreaming, uh, but yeah. changing their state on a daily basis and just incorporating more happiness into their day-to-day -day sure. life. What are some simple practical and, things? And so here's what I would recommend is that the easiest way is to uh, just contact me and I'll send you what's called the Joy Shop. And what the Joy Shop is, is just two pages that you can print out and they're just uplifting thoughts that will raise your energy level and then after you read that every morning and so if you have to wake up 15 minutes in the morning early you know do so and the first step is is to write out what you desire the things that you want and you'll be amazed as you start writing it out you'll get more and more clarity of really what you do want because you know a lot of people say oh it's more money and more business but when you really look at things that it's those things but it's also that you know I really want to be happier I want to feel better I want to uh, have a deeper more meaningful relationships and so as you get that you'll get more clarity that's step one step two is and this really changes your mental thinking process and that is to write down then in this joy shop so you read the joy shop read, write down what you want and then you write down what do you appreciate in the last 24 hours? We have been so conditioned to come home and say, how was your day? And then bitch about the day. <laughs> yeah. And that this, what this does, it, it helps you to really appreciate, if anything, just a smile, someone smile. But as you start thinking about what do I appreciate, what did play out well in my life in the last 24 hours, you'll be amazed at all the things you start writing down. And the more you can focus on the things you appreciate, it's telling the universe automatically, give me more of it. And then you'll get more smiles and you'll get more business and you'll get more of the things that you want and better health, whatever. And then the third step is to prepave so I don't like the word plan it's kind of like goals is people kind of you know make it a, a struggle and so just prepave like you're prepaving a street that you want to prepave your day and start calling it like you want it hey I'm gonna have a good day all day today I'm gonna attract delicious and healthy food the meeting that I have today is gonna go well don't get real specific on, oh, the person, the prospect's going to say yes to $250,000 home. Instead, that we're going to get along well, that we're going to have a great time. They're going to respect me. I'm going to respect them. We're going to laugh. We're going to enjoy each other. Because then God will fill in, the universe will fill in all the detail. It's kind of like, because we're all in real estate, I'm a real estate agent, whatever, that is, it's like we're an architect and we just do the frame of the house. And then let God fill in the windows, 
doors, the different rooms, and so the universe to be able to fill that into your life. And so prepave your day the way you want it. Safe travels. Don't say, oh, I hope there uh, isn't bad traffic, because then you'll attract bad traffic. So you need to start changing the way you think, and you need to just think about what you do want. Yeah. yeah there, like there, there's something there that you just touched on, and it's so powerful, but we glazed right over it. The, the, your verbiage changes are yeah. so critical. Here, let me give you an example. So when I in this dream book that I had or have, it's sitting in front of me, um, I was writing out my dream check, right? And after I understood kind of the verbiage shifts that you need to you need to change, I wrote in here one of the attributes I want to I wanted to be drop dead gorgeous. Now <laughs> where do you where do you see a problem with that verbiage? <laughs> Yeah, well, drop, well dead. drop dead isn't too good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drop dead is too good. So I scratched that out and I put naturally gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, there you but, go. I mean, and be, be so I use younger. I'm I'm getting younger every day. That's another one. If you say older, you're going to start getting older every day. So <laughs> I get younger Greg's every day. Craig's girlfriends are getting younger every year. Yeah, yeah, yeah baby. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> like Benjamin Button, just in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the word. So if you'll notice, I don't use the word work. See, I use play all the time. You know, that'll mm -hmm. play out for you. Because yeah. work, that's not a fun word. It's a low vibrational word. So you want to get these high end vibrational words that just, you start flying with the angels. And you just start feeling good, and you just everything is playful and enjoyable and loving and compassionate and kind. And, and as you do that, and gorgeous and good looking, and, and okay. as you do that, <laughs> that you guys are already looking better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's it's just because Greg so finally shaved. <laughs> that was that was earlier in the week, man. Come on, kicking me, kick, uh, quick, kicking me when I'm down, bro. Um, <laughs> you're not down. Though. You're very much up. I'm very happy with this look of yours. This is much better so than the scratchy beard. Oh man, how would you know it's scratchy? Um, but uh, you know, uh, Hank, is there a um, is there? Do you have a sheet of these word changes that people can start using? Is that something that you yeah. have? Yeah, probably the book Good Feeling Thoughts is the best one because it gives you seven good feeling thoughts every day. So literally it's January 1st, January 2nd, and it's seven. And seven is a spiritual number, so that's why I have seven. And it just gets you the more and more that you can – here's the experience other people have. The more they're around me, the more that they are uplifting. So the more they can read my books, the more that they can see my encouragement, and I have a video of my encouragement every week because what comes out of my mouth is just – out of uh, my essence of who I am, and I'm just happy. I'm a happy guy because that's what I decided I wanted to be, and so now I'm happy no matter what the circumstances or conditions, and by the way, the circumstances and conditions are, like, delightful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, it is. It's such a good thing that when you change your mindset and you just shift over to that, that different way of thinking and you just, like, you just make that decision to be positive about things, it, yeah. it, it all of a sudden things will just radically transform people you know, when we lose yep. that client or anything else i tell people a lot of the times look you have to view that as a blessing i mean w there was a one of our team one uh, many many years ago we had this guy he was a contractor we helped him buy this house and then when he went to go sell it he used another agent and we were all kinds of butthurt about this well what we found out is from the last time i heard they're still in litigation because there were major corners cut when they were pouring the foundation and part of the house was when it kind of fell off. And right. we would have been caught up in that litigation. So when you don't work with a buyer, if the seller doesn't pick you, that's okay. You guys, one, you need to work on your game a little bit and figure out where you went wrong, but also view it as a blessing because you're going to have this free time that you don't know that you need. And now you can go work, work on your craft or you can go work right. with another client that's not going to be a nightmare uh, and, right. and start looking at it in that light. I mean, when I do my coaching calls, when someone – this is the coolest thing, Doc. You're going to get a kick out yeah. of this. Right. Uh, well, my coaching calls, when someone would bail on me on an on a evening time, yeah. I wouldn't be upset about it. I would just be like, okay. I got excited. I'm like, okay, where am I need to be? Because I don't need, didn't need to be there. Right. What's going to happen? And every yeah. single night – Someone else yeah. would call, or something would come yeah. up, and it would be it would be yeah. perfect timing for them and for me to have a right. conversation that would be impactful for their lives at that moment. And I yeah. started looking at it like that. Oh my gosh, dude! Yeah. The coolest thing once you change.
Yes, and this is where this idea of allowing is, is allow life to just unfold because we have our own little small mind that is on, oh, it's got to be this way and that way, and this is the judgment, do not judge, okay? And so when you just start flowing with life and when a, a an appointment cancels, you go, cool, I can't wait for the next exciting thing going on. And yes. even on my voicemail, I have, um, hey, thanks for calling, and I can't wait to hear the good news. And so, you know, people are locked into, shit, I got to think of some good news to tell this guy. And then they do. Oh, I love that. I'm going to change my voicemail today. <laughs> oh, my God. So, Matt, every time he leaves a voicemail for me, he's going to have to be like, hey, I've reached Greg McDaniel's cell phone. I can't wait for the good news. But I'll leave a message right? at the beep. Boom. And this is exactly Fantastic. why I will continue yeah. to yell at you on Voxer and bypass your voicemail. <laughs> I will not refuse to listen to that every time I call you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, right, guys. Um, so let's, uh, let's put a nice uh, bow on this one. So we talked about how to reach and connect with Dr. Hank. Uh, and you can always go to agentwealthnetwork.com uh, to, uh, to catch up with all the good stuff that he's doing. Um, and I think I think Greg is actually <laughs> sending me a Voxer right now as oh, we speak. Boy. He muted himself and he's sending me an angry Voxer. <laughs> no, no, no. Go I'll listen to that after the show. No, no. Play it on the air. Play it on the air. You got to play it on oh, the air. Oh, all right. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> hang on. Let me make sure there's no uh, um, un untoward Voxers that might play here. Okay. Here Greg right. is Whoa. on it, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Here we go. Hang on. <laughs> oh, oh come on. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Come on, Johnson. Don't don't waste our time. <laughs> and nothing. And nothing still. <laughs> you guys pick that up? Do you know? Do you have performance anxiety? Hold on a second. No, I, it's, anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's just the microphone won't pick it up. When it's coming off. I want to let you know. I want you to. I look forward to hearing the good news. Okay. I look forward to hearing the good news. <laughs> Every boxer will end in that. <laughs> so you can't right get around on, it, Johnson. Baby. That's the funny. good news. All right. Speaking of the good news, um, if you would like to uh, to speak with Greg about the good news of joining uh, McDaniel Real Estate Systems and plugging into the training that we've made available to you, as well as the uh, live stream training from our buddy Jeff Cohn out in Nebraska, where you can get that for free. So you can essentially get uh, training uh, high def for multiple hours a week, in addition to all the stuff that the EXP gives you. So you can talk to Greg at bookmcdaniel.com. Anything else you want to contribute on that, Greg? Yeah, guys, go to bookmcdaniel.com. Uh, find a time uh, that you, uh, will work for you. And, guys, I'm going to explain to you how you can create wealth instead of just a paycheck. You guys can get paid three times on every deal that you guys are doing. You get your now business with your commissions. You can earn passive commissions from your teams you build. And then your 401K. You know, we're going to help you guys build a 401K directly off of the deals that you do. So go to bookmcdaniel.com. Let's sit down. Let's see if it's for you. If it is, thumbs up. If it's not, Thumbs up. I still love you. doesn't matter, but I still want you to be a part of my team. There you go. Right. Short and sweet, Johnson. I got right. it down. And for the podcast itself, make sure to subscribe, iTunes, or Stitcher, depending on your device. If you like the video version better, uh, better head on over to YouTube and subscribe there. All the podcasts are published, as well as the highlight clips from each episode of the top two or three minutes, so you can grab that there. Uh, connect with us on Facebook. Guys, do not friend us. Make sure to follow us. Yeah, follow. Uh, that way you get the notifications of when we're live, and uh, Greg's at the point where he just physically cannot accept friend requests, so if you do friend request him, it basically goes into a giant hole, uh, well, and see. nothing good happens. <laughs> nothing good well, happens in, the, in, in friend request purgatory. No, it's purgatory and actually i have a thousand friends waiting so if you go there like facebook's gonna get pissed at me so stop friending me start following me please it's for your sake i'm thinking of you for you <laughs> oh uh, you two guys are a blast i appreciate you and it's been a, a fun trip baby and we just want to enjoy skip along our our joyous journey here and know that everything it's great right now and it's going to just get better that's right. God, we are so having you back as a recurring guest. Um, <laughs> well, Matt, what do you want to do with this show? I could put a bow on it, Greg, right now. A, okay, yeah. let's put a bow yes. on it, Johnson. <laughs> All right, guys, we know that we love you. We want we do this show for you. As of this recording, over three years of us pumping out a lot of good content for you. We are not going to ever stop because we love the guys. We love doing this show. So until next time, peace out, ninjas. We got